Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll discuss how to design a practical amplifier with a MOSFET. We'll be using an N-channel device 2N7000 for our discussion. So what does an amplifier do? When we have a signal coming from a sensor, let's say, usually the signal strength is poor and cannot be used to directly drive the output circuits. By building an amplifier and adding that to the intermediate state, we have introduced some analog signal processing and we now have the ability to properly drive output stages with the amplified sensor signal. Thus, we are not limited by the chosen sensor and the circuit now becomes comparatively immune to malfunction and degradation over time. For commercially available signal level MOSFETs, the device parameters in terms of uh, oxide capacitance aspect ratio as in length and width of the device are not explicitly mentioned in the data sheet. Hence, we would need to calculate all the device parameters before designing a MOSFET-based amplifier. From the data sheet of 2N7000, we need to find a point in saturation for the MOSFET that uh, and deduce the VGS, VDS, and ID. When VGS is 4.5 volts, ID is 600 milliamps, and VDS is 10 volts, uh, and this is much greater than the limit for the triode region, which is about 0.2 volts. The, the typical threshold voltage for this device is 2.1 volts. In saturation or the amplifying region of the MOSFET, ID is k times the square of the effective voltage, where k is half times mu and c ox w by l. The effective or overdrive voltage is the difference between the applied gate to source voltage and the threshold voltage. Substituting the values discussed above, we get a K value of 104.16 milliamps per volts. To actually build a practical amplifier, we need some constraints in terms of available supply voltage, max current uh, we can use from the power supply, etc. And these requirements can depend on the project. And for this video, I have chosen a VDD of 10 volts, ID of 100 milliamps, and operating VDS of 2 volts. R1 and R2 are the biasing resistors that provide the gate to source voltage. And C sub C is the coupling capacitor for the input voltage signal from the sensor denoted by VI. Substituting the drain current constraint in saturation, we get a V effective of 3.08 volts. To calculate the voltage gain, we need two things, the transconductance at this operating point and the output impedance. GM is given by this equation and substituting the values, we get 204.08 milli milliamps per volt. If we apply KVL from the power supply to ground, we get the drop across are out as 8 volts. Hence, for the design value of drain current, R out comes out to be 80 ohms. Calculating the voltage gain, we get GM times R out as 16.32 volts per volt. Looking back at the basic amplifier circuit, we now try to plug in practical values that we can use to build. Choosing R1 as 250K, we can obtain R2 from the simple voltage divider rule. For a VGS of 3.08 volts, we get R2 as 111.27K. The input and output coupling capacitors are designed such that we only amplify the frequencies of interest. If we choose the cutoff frequency as 100Hz for the high pass filter, we can calculate the coupling capacitor needs to be around 20 nanofarad. Now drawing the full circuit, we get this. It's time to actually build the circuit to check if our design works. Now obviously you cannot find the exact values of resistors up to two decimal places um, that we got from the theoretical design. We have used values close to the one obtained from the design. This is going to change the operating point VGS and thereby the drain current of the MOSFET. Having said that, let's fire up the circuit and check the small signal voltage gain. We see that the gain for this circuit is about 10 volts per volt. Changing the scale on the scope, we can confirm that. 
This is off from the theoretical value of 16 that we calculated, but this deviation is expected due to the inaccurate resistor values and shift in the biasing point of the MOSFET. Hope you learned something from this video and see you soon in the next one. Happy building.